Welcome to our podcast episode on Disorder in the Cosmos, Entropy Explained. I'm Aria, your host, and today we will dive deep into the fascinating world of entropy and its impact on the universe. Joining me are two brilliant minds, Dr. Orion Nova and Luna Starlight, who will share their insights and expertise on this complex yet intriguing topic. Let's embark on this cosmic journey together. To kick things off, let's break down the basics. Dr. Nova, could you explain to our listeners what entropy actually means in the context of physics? Absolutely, Aria. Entropy in its simplest form is a measure of disorder or randomness within a system. In thermodynamics, it's a central concept that helps us understand how systems evolve over time. The second law of thermodynamics tells us that entropy in an isolated system like the universe tends to increase. This essentially means that systems naturally progress from order to disorder. And to build on that, it's not just about physical disorder. Entropy also has a profound implication in terms of information. The more entropy a system has, the more information it takes to describe that system's state accurately. This is a fascinating bridge between thermodynamics and information theory. That's a very insightful way to put it, Luna. So if we're talking about the universe, how does the concept of entropy apply on such a grand scale? The universe is the ultimate isolated system, and as it expands, we observe the entropy within it increasing. This is visible in the life cycle of stars, the dispersal of galaxies, and even the fate of black holes. It's entropy that drives the direction of time itself, from the Big Bang to the eventual heat death of the universe. Exactly, Dr. Nova. The concept of the heat death, where the universe reaches a state of maximum entropy and therefore no energy can be converted into work, is a direct consequence of increasing entropy. It's a cosmic manifestation of disorder, predicting a future where the universe is uniform, with no distinguishable structure or life as we know it. Wow, that's both fascinating and a little sobering. But let's pivot a bit. How does the concept of entropy impact our understanding of the beginning of the universe? Great question, Arya. If we apply the concept of entropy to the early universe, we encounter a bit of a puzzle. The Big Bang theory suggests that the universe began in a state of extremely low entropy, which is highly ordered. This presents an interesting contrast to the state of the universe today and its apparent trajectory towards disorder. That's one of the great mysteries of cosmology. The low entropy state of the early universe laid the groundwork for the complexity and structure we observe today, from galaxies to life on Earth. Understanding why the universe started with such low entropy is crucial for unraveling its overall evolution and future. That truly is the million dollar question. It seems like entropy not only tells us where we're heading, but also poses questions about our cosmic origins. Indeed, Arya. And to delve a bit deeper, the low entropy beginning of the universe is fundamentally intertwined with the concept of time. Some theories suggest that the arrow of time, the unidirectional flow we experience, is a result of this initial low entropy state progressing towards higher entropy. That's an intriguing point, Dr. Nova. It suggests that our very perception of time is bound up with thermodynamic processes. Without the increase of entropy, we wouldn't experience time as moving forward. It's almost poetic, isn't it? The universe's grand story, with entropy as its driving force, shapes our very understanding of past, present, and future. Absolutely, Arya. And this links back to another fascinating aspect, how life itself manages to exist and even thrive in a universe governed by entropy increase. Life seems to locally decrease entropy, creating ordered structures from the chaos. Yes, Dr. Nova, but with a caveat. While life decreases local entropy, it increases the overall entropy of the universe through the release of heat and waste products. It's a delicate balance that underscores the complexity of systems, whether they're biological, celestial, or cosmological. That brings an interesting perspective on sustainability and how we, as a part of this cosmic narrative, must navigate our existence in a manner that respects the balance of entropy. It's not just about survival, but about thriving within the parameters set by the universe. Precisely, Aria. And in the realm of technology and information, 
there's a direct parallel. The concept of entropy in information theory, as Luna touched upon earlier, reminds us that as we move forward, managing information and its associated entropy becomes crucial for advancement. True. Whether it's managing the vast amounts of data in our digital age or understanding the cosmic web of the universe. The principles of entropy guide us in deciphering complexity and fostering an appreciation for the intricacies of the cosmos and our place within it. It's a humbling and yet empowering realization. As we learn to navigate and perhaps even leverage entropy, we're unlocking new possibilities for understanding not just the universe, but also the potential paths for humanity's future. Indeed, Arya. This exploration into entropy pushes us to ponder the ultimate fate of the universe itself. The concept of the heat death, where the universe reaches maximum entropy and thermal equilibrium, presents a fascinating yet sobering outlook on the cosmos's future. However, it's important to remember that this event is billions of years away. It gives us a frame of temporal reference that dwarfs our everyday concerns. In a way, it's a call to action to focus on the here and now, utilizing our understanding of entropy to make positive changes in the world. That's an empowering way to look at it, Luna. Given that we're talking about events on such a colossal timescale, it puts our own lifespans into perspective. It also raises the question, how can we, in our brief time, contribute to a legacy that echoes through the ages? One approach is through education and innovation. By fostering a deeper understanding of these fundamental concepts within the next generations, we're equipping them with the tools to navigate and possibly mitigate the challenges posed by entropy. It's about building a foundation that encourages curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. Absolutely, Dr. Nova. And let's not forget the role of interdisciplinary research. By bridging gaps between physics, cosmology, biology, and even the social sciences, we can gain more holistic insights into how entropy influences everything from the formation of galaxies to the evolution of societies. That interconnectivity is key. It's as if each field of study offers a unique piece of the puzzle. And through collaboration, we can assemble a more complete picture of the universe's workings. It's a reminder that despite entropy's inexorable rise, there's beauty in the complexity it creates and in our quest to understand it. Indeed, Arya. The beauty and complexity that you mentioned beautifully encapsulates the paradox of entropy. It's both a force of decay and a source of new beginnings. For instance, when stars exhaust their nuclear fuel and collapse, they may form black holes, which are regions of extreme gravitational pull and entropy. Yet around these black holes, new stars can form, illustrating a cosmic cycle of death and rebirth. That's a fascinating point, Dr. Nova. It almost seems like entropy in its essence is not just about disorder, but about transformation and the potential for new structures to emerge. This understanding can radically shift our perspective on how we interpret the universe's evolution and our role within it. Absolutely, Luna. This notion of transformation and renewal touches on the very essence of creativity and innovation. It's like the universe is constantly remixing itself, creating new forms and possibilities. Could this be a model for how we approach problems on Earth, embracing the chaos as a source of creative solutions? It's a compelling notion, Arya. Taking inspiration from the cosmos, we might see the increase in entropy not as a barrier, but as a catalyst for innovation. This could fundamentally change how we approach sustainability, for example, by designing systems that thrive on change rather than resist it. And speaking of sustainability, considering entropy in our environmental efforts highlights the importance of energy efficiency and the eventual heat waste all systems produce. It drives home the necessity of creating more sustainable cycles that mimic the natural processes we observe in the universe. Right, Luna. It's about finding harmony with the laws of thermodynamics rather than working against them. If we can design our societies to be more in sync with these universal principles, we might achieve a more sustainable and adaptable civilization. Precisely, Arya. And to further elaborate on your point, let's consider the concept of the energy pyramid in ecosystems. 
It illustrates how energy decreases as it moves up the food chain due to entropy. Yet ecosystems have evolved to be incredibly resilient and efficient. There's a lesson there for us in designing systems that can handle change and degradation gracefully. That's an excellent analogy, Dr. Nova. Ecosystems do not just cope with entropy, they thrive because of it. The flow of energy through an ecosystem, leading to loss at each level, actually fuels the cycle of life. It's a brilliant demonstration of how apparent inefficiencies can create balance and promote sustainability. It makes one think about the potential of leveraging these principles in technology. For example, could we design cities that function like forests? where waste from one process becomes the input for another, effectively turning entropy on its head. That's a visionary thought, Aria. By mimicking nature's efficiency in dealing with entropy, we could revolutionize urban planning and industrial processes. Imagine buildings designed to capture and reuse heat waste, or urban landscapes that channel rainwater to where it's needed, much like a forest directs nutrients through its ecosystem. And let's not overlook the role of entropy in computing and information theory. The concept of entropy is pivotal in understanding data transmission and storage, which could have profound implications for how we manage and process information in such eco-efficient cities. True, Luna. With the digital age upon us, it's fascinating to consider how entropy affects not just physical systems, but information systems as well. It prompts us to think about how we can make our data storage and processing more energy efficient, reducing the digital entropy we contribute to the universe. Absolutely, Aria. And extending that thought, the principles of quantum computing offer a glimpse into how we might harness entropy in new ways to process information far more efficiently than classical systems. It's a burgeoning field that promises to redefine the limits of computation all while considering the universal laws of thermodynamics. Quantum computing could indeed be a game changer in how we approach the problem of entropy in information systems. It underscores the importance of interdisciplinary research and innovation in navigating the challenges posed by entropy, not just in the universe, but in every facet of our lives. Speaking of interdisciplinary research, it highlights the necessity of collaborations between fields like cosmology, physics, and even urban planning and computer science to innovate in the face of entropy. It's a potent reminder that complex problems require multifaceted solutions. Absolutely, Aria. And these collaborations could lead to the development of new materials or technologies that are more adaptable and resilient to entropy. For instance, Materials that improve their structure in response to environmental stresses, much like how certain organisms adapt to their changing surroundings. That brings an interesting point to the table, Dr. Nova. If we look at biological systems, they've mastered the art of evolving in response to entropy. This principle could inspire breakthroughs in self-healing materials or systems that evolve over time to become more efficient, embodying the very essence of combating entropy. Imagine self-healing roads or buildings that repair themselves, effectively reducing maintenance costs and resource consumption. It's a step towards sustainability that directly tackles the increase of entropy in an innovative way. And on a larger scale, such innovation could lead to the development of cities and habitats that are not only self-sustaining, but also contribute positively to the environment, turning urban areas from entropy hotspots into models of efficiency and sustainability. It's a vision of the future, where technology and nature coexist in harmony, where the challenge of entropy drives innovation rather than despair. This optimistic outlook on entropy as a catalyst for progress is truly inspiring. Indeed, Luna. It compels us to rethink our approach to energy, materials, and technology. By viewing entropy not just as a challenge, but as an opportunity for innovation, we can unlock new pathways to a sustainable future. Speaking of innovation and sustainability, let's not forget the crucial role of space exploration in this conversation. The study of entropy in cosmic phenomena could provide us with vital clues for developing technologies that are more in harmony with the laws of thermodynamics on a universal scale.
Precisely, Dr. Nova. In fact, observing how entropy operates in extreme conditions, like near black holes or in the early universe, can offer groundbreaking insights into designing systems that manage entropy more efficiently here on Earth. That's fascinating. It's like looking into the past to find solutions for the future. Using cosmic phenomena as a template could revolutionize our approach to energy consumption and even the way we design our cities. Yes, and it's worth mentioning that these cosmic laboratories have been experimenting with entropy for billions of years. There's so much we can learn from the natural evolution of the cosmos that can inform our technological advancements. It also underlines the importance of space missions and telescopes that allow us to observe these phenomena. Each discovery not only expands our understanding of the universe, but also equips us with the knowledge to tackle entropy in innovative ways. And let's not forget the role of artificial intelligence and machine learning in this. They could play a crucial part in analyzing the vast amounts of data from these cosmic observations, helping us identify patterns and solutions hidden within the chaos of the universe. Absolutely, Arya. Combining AI with our understanding of entropy could lead to the development of smart adaptive systems that anticipate and respond to their own entropy, making them more efficient and sustainable. And thinking about black holes, which are essentially entropy supermaxes, if you will, their study could redefine our understanding of information preservation and entropy management. It's like they're teaching us that not all is lost, even in the deepest of cosmic drains. That's a mesmerizing thought, Luna. It aligns perfectly with the concept of the holographic principle, where information swallowed by a black hole is somehow preserved at its event horizon. Could this principle be the key to unlocking new entropy management strategies? It's a compelling notion, Arya. The holographic principle implies that the universe itself might be fundamentally holographic, where the laws of physics, including those governing entropy, play out on a two-dimensional surface while we perceive them in three dimensions. This could radically alter our approach to entropy in physics and beyond. And if we zoom out even further, considering the universe's ultimate fate in the context of entropy leads us to some intriguing theories, like the heat death of the universe. This concept essentially states that the universe will evolve to a state of no thermodynamic free energy, and therefore no ability to sustain processes, that increase entropy. It's a bit of a cosmic paradox, isn't it? On one hand, entropy drives the universe towards disorder and chaos. Yet on the other, it's a fundamental aspect of the processes that give rise to structure and complexity, like star formation and the evolution of life. Exactly, Arya. It's this duality that makes entropy so fascinating. In many ways, entropy is not just a measure of disorder, but a catalyst for transformation and innovation. Understanding this duality could unlock new perspectives in not only physics, but also in areas like biology, economics, and even philosophy. And amidst these grand cosmic scales and existential discussions, it's thrilling to think about the practical applications of understanding entropy. For instance, improving energy efficiency, developing sustainable materials, or even creating more resilient and adaptable societal structures. The interdisciplinary applications are indeed vast. It's a testament to how interconnected our universe is, from the smallest particles to the vast stretches of the cosmos. The study of entropy bridges these scales, offering insights that could one day lead to breakthroughs across various fields. Pushing that thought further, Arya, consider how entropy also challenges our understanding of time itself. Since entropy increases over time, it provides a directional arrow, suggesting a flow from past to present to future. This fascinating relationship between time and entropy might hold keys to unraveling deeper mysteries of the universe. That's an excellent point, Orion. It brings to light the concept of the arrow of time, and how it's intimately linked with entropy. It makes you wonder, in a universe where entropy is constantly increasing, could we ever witness or engineer a reversal? What implications would that have for our perception of time and causality? 
And diving into the realm of the speculative, this discussion about reversing entropy touches on the realms of science fiction, like time travel or the resurrection of past states. It's fodder for not only scientific exploration, but cultural and philosophical debate. How does our understanding of entropy affect our view of destiny, free will, and the nature of existence? Absolutely, Arya. The interplay between entropy, time, and our philosophical musings is a rich field ripe for exploration. It underscores the importance of a multidisciplinary approach, where insights from physics intertwine with those from other fields, illuminating the path forward in our quest for knowledge. And let's not forget the role of education and popular science in demystifying these concepts. By breaking down complex ideas like entropy and its implications, we empower individuals to engage with discussions, fostering a society more informed about the fundamental principles that govern our universe. True, Luna. The conversation today highlights the importance of continual curiosity and exploration. Entropy isn't just a scientific concept. It's a gateway to understanding the cosmos, our place within it, and even the fabric of reality itself. And with that, we wrap up today's deep dive into the fascinating world of entropy. It's been a profound journey through physics, philosophy, and the very nature of our universe. Thank you, Arya and Luna, for an enlightening discussion. Thank you, Orion and Arya. Here's to unraveling more mysteries of the cosmos together. To our listeners, keep looking up and questioning the universe around you. Indeed, thank you both and to everyone tuning in. Remember, the pursuit of knowledge is a journey with no endpoint, only new horizons to explore. Until next time, keep pondering the chaos and order of our incredible universe. Goodbye and stay curious.